I'm Dr. C, and it is a Hollywood Christmas. Oh my goodness, all the new ornaments on the tree. Oh, this one's really special, oh my gosh. All signed by Hollywood celebrities and made with their very hands. Oh my gosh, how fun is that? Well, Meredith Thomas, yes. it is so good to see you. Haven't seen you in a little while, but boy, I've known you over 10 years. Yeah, Mary Mary to you. It's so Mary, nice to Mary. see you. I know. <laughs> we've, had, we've had a lot of fun times over the years. Yes. And here we are celebrating Christmas. at Hollywood Museum. Yeah. It's Christmas. I love, 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 love. I this is cute this. as Let heck. Let me see if we can get the bow. Oh, yeah. There you go. It is, it is the best. Thank you. And you're always in such great shape. Oh, you're so kind. My, my viewers know. love to know fitness secrets and beauty secrets, so tell me yours. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to tell you it's not such a good secret. Some of it is genetics. I'm not going to lie. My grandmother, she lived to 97 um, and she, you would not have believed how beautiful her skin was. So a little bit of genetics, um, a little bit of clean living, mostly vegetarian. I gave up drinking almost 10 years ago. So that could be a little bit of it, but I, I feel like I'm like everybody that d I don't feel in my fight and weight since COVID. So I'm like everyone, I'm getting back to um, where I'm comfortable. <laughs> well, you work all the time. And, I mean, you might have almost like a world record on Lifetime or one of these second, doing TV movies. You're, you're actually right. I'm second only to Vivica A. Fox in number of Lifetime movies. All right. <laughs> and I, I noticed that you might have been in like 175 films or something. Did you know I was coming? You're so funny. I yeah. <laughs> she does her research. I know. I look like I'm winging it here. <laughs> no. you do. Uh, that, yeah, so I, um, I've done, yeah, well, I've been around a minute, you know, <laughs> all that clean living, you know, gives, <laughs> you've always been beautiful and fit. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so I, I, um, do a lot of TV movies. This is one of my favorite times of year because I have a lot of, I call them new classic Christmas movies. So, um, okay, which Christmas movies are we going to so see? My, so my, I'll give you two of my favorites. I, I credit A Christmas in Vermont with starting my whole Christmas movie career. It's with Chevy Chase and, um, and it's just a lovely tale. I'm also a New England girl, so it's set in Vermont, which I love. Um, and then after Christmas in Vermont, I worked with the same director. I did one called The Christmas in Royal Fashion, which I also love. I'm, uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of the mean boss in that one. I'm the nicer boss in, in Christmas in Vermont. Um, and then I have a Christmas horror film coming out this year. Let me see if I get this title right. It's called... Christmas at Precinct 82, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, so so it's okay, my first. I'll look it up. Horror. We have a mutual friend, Don Grabowski. Yes. And that film is in development right now. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You you are so good with your research. So, yes, I produced I produced a stand-up comedy special. Now Dawn calls it sit-down comedy because because um, yeah, she says she's because she's, she's in a wheelchair, so she calls it sit-down comedy. But um, still, the comedy is there. Um, so we shot that. weren't you there? Did we shot it at the lodge? That stand-up oh. comedy. We shot a stand-up comedy special. Um, a couple years ago and it's been edited and now we're just going to get it out there to the world and um, so Don is um, someone we know from the Television Academy right. who is Another just and who, I, I met her, one of my first people I met when I joined the Television right, Academy right, right. Well you've had a lot of wins for awards, a lot and I know you've been up for Emmys and you're going to get that Emmy, I know You, you know are. what? Sure. From your mouth to Santa Claus's ears. <laughs> All right. And Dawn Grabowski, we love you, Hi, Dawn. Dawn. We totally love you. And what's the name of it? It's like a hilarious oh, name. Oh, it's, it's uh, brass. Well, it ends oh, with right. brass balls. I think it's small chested ba something flat else. Chested and, flat and okay. brass balls. Well, yeah. There's yeah. one, one more thing there because comedy's right. in threes, but we can't think too. of it, right? I'll give you that one, too. <laughs> yeah.
Anyway, we're looking forward to your Christmas movies. I can even get my husband to watch them. It's Yay. just a hoot. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Let's thank say it together. Honey. Merry Christmas Yay. to Merry you. Merry Christmas. Woo. Thank you. So I, something that not a lot of people know about me is I, I actually lived at the North Pole. I actually spent my first seven years, I lived above the Arctic Circle um, in a village that was called Barrow. It now has a, an, um, an Inuit name, which I can't pronounce. But uh, so my first seven years, I was close to Santa. I could see Santa from my, my house. Uh, anyway, so uh, those were the seven years were the years that my family was all together. So um, those were the years that my brother and, and I lived with my dad and my mom. And, um, and we lived in this beautiful, frosty wonderland. So um, yeah, those were the good family years. And then I moved to the lower 48, which is wonderful too, but I'll always remember my time up in uh, the village of Barrow, Alaska. Thank you. I'm here with Lauren Samuel. Hi. And she's a stage actress and a lot more than that, yes. but stage actress in the West End. I am, but over here in LA, I host um, a podcast called A Brit in LA, which I think you'll agree is a genius title because that is what I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Brit in LA, in case you didn't notice by the accent. <laughs> and Christmas is nothing new to you because they do that there. Oh, they do Christmas there. You know, I was, I was scared because this is my first Christmas in LA and I was scared that it wouldn't feel very festive. And here we are right in front of this beautiful tree and it does, even though there are palm trees, which is very strange for me, not having snow and seeing palm trees at Christmas, very bizarre, but it is incredibly festive here. Oh, I've had palm trees for a long time, but you know what, over 30 years ago, my first Christmas in LA, I went to the Marina Del Rey boat parade. Oh, wow. And I cried. It was so beautiful. Oh my that God. I cried. So I recommend you go to the Marina Del Rey boat. Parade. Well, I want to do that because I've been asking people that live in LA what is the most festive thing to do other than this evening at the Hollywood Museum, obviously. And you want to know the weirdest part? I would look at all those yachts in the marina and say, that's a lot of work, that's a lot of trouble. <laughs> you know about boats, break yeah. out another thousand. Yeah. I stupidly own one now. <laughs> And I decorate the thing. See, it all started at that show, didn't it? Your first Christmas I, here in LA. I was so touched. <laughs> and I am a mermaid and a Viking too, so I couldn't fight it. it was I in believe my blood. it. You see, look at it this. Was, it was in my blood. I was just saying before we went on camera, I was like, I feel really short and not glamorous next to you. Oh my God. <laughs> so <you> glamorous. <laughs> Are you joking? Okay, so what can we see you in? right now well you can listen to my podcast wherever you get your podcast i interview everybody in the entertainment industry here in hollywood all about how they achieved their hollywood dreams it's called a brit in la as i say and yeah we're on season two at the moment season three starts next year so it's going to be a big year 2023 how inspiring i love it Thank you so much. You know, I've been interviewing celebrities for 25 years, and the thing that most people don't understand was there was no overnight success. Oh, no. People say that it was a 10-year overnight excess. <laughs> a lot of sacrifice, always. Yeah, there's always a lot of sacrifice. And as I say, this is my first Christmas away from my family, moving here to LA, but I absolutely love it. And that's the sacrifice. I love it, and I love the work, and here we are. Well, let's say it together. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. <laughs> Fabulous people. So thank you, Danelle. Thank you, Roger. Um, this is my very, I'm very new here in LA. This is my very, very first Christmas away from my family um, here in LA. So it's so nice to have a new family and be so warmly welcomed. Um, my biggest Christmas memory has got to be when my grandfather uh, set fire to the Christmas table accidentally. <laughs> Um, he put his napkin down uh, and it caught just the slight candle just in the corner which then proceeded to catch fire to the rest of the tablecloth <laughs> and everybody's napkins along with it so that is definitely my favorite memory and I'm so happy to be here amongst all of you so thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>